what is up you guys it's james from james's jeff house i don't know if you can tell but this, we have a different camera uh i actually i bought a well starters the camera i was using before wasn't super great um it, it was awesome for it did what it needed to do it was kick butt uh but it was definitely time for an upgrade and hatching season i mean i was selling a bunch of stuff uh made a little bit of money and I said it's time to invest in a little bit better of a camera uh, so I actually bought a GoPro and there's a couple of reasons I know it's not that great of a camera um, for what it does and and the quality of video that it shoots it was pretty good price it was actually on sale uh, off their website for Memorial Day weekend so that was awesome um, my girlfriend's getting into roller skating and I kind of followed her into that and uh, I'm kind of getting into aggressive inline skating I obviously haven't done any of that yet I have no idea I've actually only ridden inline skates once and it was terrifying but I used to roller skate at least once a week every week um, so I'm really good on skates I hopped on her skates and was still you know decent at them um, but uh, uh, inline skates just kind of seemed like more of a challenge so I have some aggressive inline skates coming and I felt like you know if I'm gonna get a, a camera I might as well get a GoPro and then I can use it uh, while I skate and all that so it kind of works out uh, but you'll notice I'm holding this gecko, this beautiful, beautiful gecko here. I'm trying to, I have my phone showing me, but it's a little delayed, so I'm just, it's awesome that I can see what you guys are seeing, but it's not perfect, so it's kind of hard. Um, but this is an awesome quad stripe gecko, uh, and this is part of a project. I mean, okay, first off, his tail isn't the best. Um, he's kind of just, that's how I got him, but it is what it is. He's a beautiful gecko. Um, but I want to, well... Sorry, I keep going far on tangents. Uh, my Dalmatian group is doing awesome. They're starting to lay eggs. I think I've had a clutch of eggs from every female now, I believe, uh, in there. So I know they're all laying eggs and they're just doing spectacular. Um, so Dalmatian project is going awesome. I have some decent Dalmatians in there. Uh, so I expect to get some decent babies out. And then the cycle just kind of continues. I'll, you know, replace females every couple of years and then I can sell breeder females and those are worth a lot of money so that's awesome uh and then my dalmatians that i produce will just get better and i can you know instead of selling them for 50 dollars a piece they can start going for 75 and nicer ones can even go for 100 and you know a gecko you put I, it, it's it might be roughly 15 dollars um a lot, some i'm sure some people have done the math i've seen the math done for leopard geckos and corn snakes corn snakes they say is 14 uh to raise up to where you can sell it based on how much you feed the adults incubating and all that it's roughly $14 minus like incubator costs and rack costs and all that um, so if I can and, and it goes it goes to like back to business if you buy a product for five dollars and you sell it for ten cool five dollars product profit but if you can buy it for five and sell it for fifteen that's even better right so if I can raise a gecko for essentially fifteen dollars and sell it for you know twenty percent more awesome why not right so that's the plan essentially um and it's it's what's going on with the dalmatians they're starting to start that cycle now in terms of the uh quad stripe geckos because that's what i want to focus these on uh, the other cage is going to be quad stripes and down there is going to be lily white up there is going to be gargoyles for now um uh, i'll end up filling in at least two more over here eventually um but for now that's what it is and the problem with this enclosure over here is these were just the first couple geckos I got. Um, so two of them are basically buckskins and a pair of them are like almost full pinstripes but definitely not quad stripes. Uh, so it's got a long ways to go and you know I what might end up happening is I might end up wholesaling some babies and just keeping some nice quad stripes from it and raising those up because honestly to even get quad stripes I'm gonna have to raise this baby up, hope it's a girl breed it to my awesome male and just keep back any eggs that are slightly better than anything in there and that was just going to take you know three or four years to complete so what I'll probably end up doing is wholesaling some crested geckos soon uh even though leopards are just flying off the shelf I haven't even put cresteds up I have pictures taken I have uh stats ready to go uh, I just haven't posted them I just haven't had the time but here I am making another video for you guys this is awesome setup by the way I can see how long it's been recording I can see myself right there um, there's all sorts of little attachments I want to get. I want to get the, the battery, the extra charger, 
Um, they have a couple different attachments. There's like a light attachment. Um, I might end up just getting that. Um, but then they also have a flip up camera or a flip up screen so I can see myself and and do vlogs and all that while I'm doing it. So I think that'd be kick ass. And I don't know if I said it's a it's a GoPro Hero 8 Black. I don't. Know. Pretty sure that's one of the newer ones. It's not the Max. The Max was a lot more expensive, but for what we're doing here, it works. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Definitely tell me is the picture quality better? Is it worse? There's a couple of different settings I might have to play around with and see, um, but I'm not a camera guy, so I don't really know. So anyway, this is the quad stripe, and to talk about it a little bit more, he is an orangish, almost red undertone. When you're breeding crested geckos. Um, and you're starting a group, one thing to think about is, or two things to think about is the pattern you're going for and the underlaying colors. So the pattern I'm going for is quad stripe or Dalmatian or tigers or brindles or harlequins or what have you. Underlying color is cool. It's, is it a white Dalmatian? Is it yellow Dalmatian? Is it orange? Is it red? Is it brown? Is it, you know, super dark? Is it super light? What are you doing with it? So quad stripes, I want to make red quad stripes with cream. Uh, kind of reminds me of like a red velvet cake. I think that'd be kick butt. So I'm gonna, you know, get some get some more geckos and just kind of pick along and slowly get my geckos there. You know, any red babies that are pinstripes, I might throw in there and I might slowly start acclimating them to quad stripes. Who knows, if I uh, sell a bunch of stuff, make a lot of money, I might try to find a red quad stripe and just throw it in there and kind of jump start my mix if you will so um uh, let me put this guy back and i'll grab a couple of the adults out of there and i'll show you what we're working with which isn't much at the time what have you oh yeah my shirt by the way it says uh leopard geckos make me happy you not so much and it's been a running joke when i worked at a leopard gecko facility uh that gecko on the shirt's not even doesn't even look close to a leopard gecko but it was a gift from my mom and i appreciate it nonetheless um, so this right here is Bella. She is uh, honestly my first female crested gecko. I had a male and then I was given a pair. Uh, and like I said, she's almost a full pinstripe. I don't know. Give it a second. Give it a second. There you go. You can see right on the butt. It's missing a chunk. Um, so her, along with the male who's similar in pinstripe, uh, she's got a little bit of side markings, um, but nowhere near a quad stripe. So I'm definitely getting some eggs out of this one. Um, there's, like I said, there's a couple females in here that are buckskin. Let me pull them out real quick for you. All right, so this is Tegan and Sarah. Uh, Tegan is absolutely small. I think she weighs about 35 grams, maybe. Uh, but she lays eggs consistently. And, you know, at the time I had really nothing laying eggs. I had Bella laying eggs and that was about it. And, you know, if, if she's laying eggs and she's doing fine, awesome. She never seems to put on weight, even uh, when I bought her. The guy said, you know, I've even taken her away from males and, you know, let her be on her own for a while and she just stopped laying eggs, but then never put on weight. So I breed her. She's gonna be a breeder here till she stops laying eggs and then, you know, maybe she'll be a pet to someone, who knows. Uh, and this is Sarah. Sarah's a lot bigger, a lot healthier looking, um, but you can see a little bit of pattern on there, uh, but she's definitely, definitely not not a quad stripe and not nothing special so these two are just in there just because they're laying eggs and you know I had the tank space and I had nothing in there breeding so I said well not nothing I had Bell in there I had nothing uh, I had an extra space for breeders and I just kind of said you know I might as well use that space up and take advantage of it while I have it so like I said quad stripe group there you gotta think about the underlaying color you gotta think about the pattern and just focus on your goals you know maybe you hatch an awesome quad stripe out of nowhere you may sell it for a lot more than your other babies that you have but if you put it back in and produce even more it just kind of makes a lot more sense um because then you can ha sell those babies and sure you're gonna wait a little bit and uh you know it's kind of hard because you can take the instant money or you can take the smarter slower investment which is what i would recommend always uh, but like i said Eventually, I will get another one here, two more up top probably on this metal rack over here. This 40 gallon is going to stay because I'm going to put a different snake in there eventually. Eventually, things are going to start slowly changing. It's just things are getting expensive because snakes are getting big and 
uh, you know, snakes aren't producing yet, so it's hard to justify a lot of stuff because they're expensive, but they're not making any money, but I have to spend the money to get them to make the money. And it's awesome for what it is, but uh, it is what it is. So, a couple more tanks are going to come eventually. One of them's going to be tigers. Uh, tiger crested geckos, sorry. And uh, second one might be another group of gargoyles. I'm kind of deciding. Um, I have another, I have this female over here, and I have one with Ramon. Um, I don't think she's going to lay eggs. I think I'm just going to sell her off and probably end up buying... I don't know, maybe two two babies and raising them up and seeing what happens. But I'm not sure if I want to put two females in a tank. And then if I don't put two females in a tank, I have to re-decide what I'm going to do for gargoyles because one female, it, she can have that big of a tank up there, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense business-wise. It's I don't want to put her in a rack because I know that's way too small and I personally just uh, like the uh, glass enclosure a lot better. Um, but um you know it'd have to be a smaller glass enclosure or something like that so either way uh definitely some stuff to come i've got a lot of shipments going out this week so uh who knows i might set up another exoterra soon um i do have two oh, they're over there um i have two tiger crested gecko babies that are hopefully gonna be up up and uh willing soon um uh, like i said they're just babies but give it six months and i'm sure they'll be uh, breeding size and hopefully it's a pair um, if it's two girls I'll probably just end up buying a male tiger a nice one that I can find that I can afford um, or if it's two boys I'll sell one and I'll buy a female and just kind of start that project um, and then you know once that project's going hopefully everything else is going a little bit smoother and uh, the cash flow just kind of intensifies so nevertheless I'm James from James Jeff Tiles. I hope you guys enjoyed it with the new camera uh, sorry I'm looking down a lot I'm just kind of making sure I'm still in frame and doing all this other stuff um, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that definitely helps out the channel. Like I said, let me know if this is better, if this is worse. I can change some settings. Um, and hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, jamesjeptiles at gmail.com. If you have any questions, you can find me on Morph Market. If you go to stores, jamesjeptiles are on there. A lot of stuff is sold or on hold. So there's a couple of animals up there. Um, I'll definitely be adding those crescents this weekend for sure. Um, and then after the all these leopards ship out next week the probably weekend after that i'll add whatever leopards are left uh so far there's not many eggs left uh the season's kind of over coming to an end um i expect maybe a couple more at a lefty and righty another clutch out of uh apex and trixie which is the awesome black knights and then i did get a clutch out of the white and yellow super snow radar project so who knows what's going to come of that maybe i can get some females and uh have a third female next year that's same kind of mix so anyway hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next video peace